All right, Firestone, California. I was fortunate enough to go check them out and see them. And honestly, their everyday beers are really light and refreshing, but I'm not a super fan of them. Don't hate them, but I'm not a super fan. Uh, but then I had to have a couple of their barrel ages, and of course, freaking love those ones. And this one, they actually have two. This is Tequila Barrel Sunrise Vintage, and they have a Mescal one. So that one, if I hurry my butt up, I'll get that one. So tequila Barrel Age Ale, brewed with orange peel and hibiscus. Hibiscus is a native flower to Africa. It's very good to grow up with it. It's a very uh, easy flower to turn into a tea. Put a little, just enough sugar, because a little tartness to it. A lot of it. But in beer, it really opens up, changes the game. And orange peel sounds like a good compliment. So it has everything on here you need to know from the gravity, the IBU, it's 21, what case it was, the yeast, the color, everything. So like, that's a good thing, you can really go and deep in it and talk about it and it can help you understand beer. So any beginning person, definitely spend a little extra money and I get a couple of these because uh, they're just so intense, you can't miss some of those, you know? All right, we're just sitting here. Beer before glory. Well, that worked out perfect. There it is. Big old bright shiny light. So let's just give it a pour and see what we got going on. Looks very light and refreshing off the bat. Almost comes out like a regular beer compared to the most of the abilities ones you're gonna see are gonna be like stout and stuff, you know, like a quarter or two. <laughs> Little boozy. The peel comes off more fruity than than the zingy, you know, zesty peel like uh Bitter, it's much more refreshing, by almost floral. Probably the hibiscus is helping it get that way, but very malty, hibiscus, sweet, um, aromatic, flowery, but not perfumey, not like potpourri. Damn, it's just a solid beer right there. Damn. Very light, like I said before, it keeps them really refreshing, but then you get this clean malt, not heavy. Not too thick and settling. Uh, you're looking at 11% alcohol. To me, it's not boozy. It's like just starting to like the party's just warming up. <laughs> so for me, this is very lovely. And I do love to see more barrel they just get out of the basic stout, heavy, dark. That's cool, it's great, but there's plenty of people doing that. So things like this, uh, Perry does a lot of crazy ones like that too. Beautiful. This I definitely love, I would have it again. Comes in singles, looks like this. So, two thumbs up, it's out right now. Is it right in August when I got it, right in the beginning, my girl got it, she saw it, so definitely want to see what the Mescal has to offer, because that one would be very tricky. But like I said, I'm more of a fan of their barrel ages than of their everyday flagship beers. But overall, if you don't want heavy, you want very drinkable, very flavorful, refreshing, they have it down. That's their style, that's their system. They actually, I read not too long ago that they refrained from doing IP for a long time. So they really are bringing something different to the market. And that's something you should really look at and not forget. Especially if you're not a big hop head, you don't have to follow in that line. You don't have to go in that direction and this proves it right here. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. Hopefully you decide to get it or not. I think it's worth it. Uh, if not, we'll move on to the next one. But for now, cheers.